Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Skies of Arcadia. We just beat the Temple of Perrin and got a whole lot of stuff done, so now I feel that we may as well briefly return to Maramba. We have a little cleanup to do before moving on to the next thing. We have just a little bit of cleanup to do, and then something... Uh, if it's here, something I've been kind of dreading. Oh, by the way. Look at our sweet ship here with this friggin' gigantic harpoon, my god. Anyway, I want to check out a couple of the shops and see how people reacted to our, uh, our victory. I'll work my way backward through the town. Oh yeah, also... Vice the Bold! Oh my god! This is where my friend got his name from. It's finally happened. Hello there. Perhaps you've heard of this news already, but I recently spoke with a merchant from Valua and he told me something interesting. Apparently, there's a vast green continent beyond the South Ocean that's covered by a deep forest. Of course, they've long... Oh, there have long been rumors about such a place. Sailors have spoken of strange leaves that are carried in the winds from the south. Yeah, we'll be dealing with that shortly. Let's go ahead and get on the, uh, the Knot Camel. I'm particularly curious about how the people of the tavern reacted to the news. Because, you know, their dancing girl is suddenly just not there. Alright, out we go. This ought to be a relatively quick trip. We only have the two buildings here. Fortune first. The red moon has spoken. Where the great winds blow is where you will discover with a capital D, the island with the bird's beak. So that's a hint for a discovery if we didn't want to pay for one ourselves. Go forth and seek your fate, and may the red moon watch over you. Okay, thanks. Tavern time. I have even seen her dancing in my dreams lately. I I just cannot forget her. I do not know what to do. If you're wondering why I'm still here even though Belina doesn't work here anymore, it's because I've never seen a woman quite like her before. And believe me, I've been looking for a very long time. If you're looking for Belina, she quit. I still can't believe she left, though. She used to bring in so many customers. She did leave a message, though. I decided that finding out how vast the desert is will have to wait for another time, handsome. A sailor must be prepared for any situation, but I underestimated you. I will not a second time. Farewell for now. We shall meet again. Well, that's all she wrote. I couldn't figure it out. Do you know what she meant? I actually, you know, I really like that. That shows us three things about Beleza. Number one, she evidently got picked up and did not have to walk through the desert. Number two, she let us know this. And number three, what I find to be most interesting is that this wasn't a case of, oh my god, our dancing girl, where did she go? Like, she actually quit. You know, she let them know. She knows how to play the long con. That's really impressive. She may be a trickster, but she has a sense of honor for sure, and even a uh, duty outside of her, like, armada duties. Now, which was the item shop? Okay, it was this guy, cool. Oh, 
Yeah, I missed that part. I forgot. They're, the the item merchants and everyone are impressed by my being here. Welcome, welcome! It is Vice the Bold! I'm honored! Please purchase any of my wares. Okay. Guess we're done here. See ya. No, I don't think this that's not what I wanted. I wanted the the, the uh, weapons merchant. I guess it's this guy. Welcome, Feist the Bold. I recognize you from the stories that I have heard. Please take your time here. Freaking sweet. I love this. Eh, nothing new. See ya. Alright, well, I guess I'll check out the real main attractions then. Just nothing about us being by the ball, but that's fine. I'm gonna get a full heal for this. Alright, we're out. Apparently there was really nothing to do in there except for sleep at the inn, but that's not really the main reason I came back to Maramba. My attractions are out here. Oh, it is Vice the Bold. Do you wish to buy a cannon or two for my humble shop? I would be so happy. Check out my new weapons. They're called torpedoes. After firing, you will not hit the target until the following turn, and sometimes you could even delay it further, by a round or two. It often misses, but it is much more powerful than most cannons. I highly recommend it. Okay. So what do we have to buy, huh? We have... Yeah, rogue figure, why not? Turbo kit. Steel deck is just objectively better than the armo deck. Turbo kit because why not? Increases quick. Light torpedo. Wow, that is more powerful. My god. I'll take one. The cannon I already have. Heavy cannon. Better hit. I'll take it just for the sake of having a main cannon. Alright. Big bomb, a larger bomb. I'll take one so I can have it. Pyro bomb, probably like a Pyrie spell. Deluxe kit, better than a repair kit. It's a Sacri. Apoax. Oh, it's Increm, but it's an item. Yes, please. Marvelous. Okay. I don't think the Guildmaster's gonna have anything now. Hey, you're Vice the Bold, yes? Welcome to the Sailor's Guild. Yeah, nothing to sell. Wanted li- oh, I already checked that. Alright, see ya, buddy. Hmm. There was a certain someone I was looking for around here, but I'll come back. In the meantime, I actually also want to deposit my, uh, my Moonfish. Remember, we got two from Aramba and two from the Temple of Perin. 
So which way was Sailor's Island? Just northwest. Alright. And I could go through the rock barrier, so it's not even hard to get there. Not that I'm really looking for Sailor's Island itself, more just uh, the doctor. There he is. Okay, let's deposit some moonfish, see what happens. Hi. I think we have four. Fifty Sky Sardis. I mean, a Sky Sardis is lame, but fifty of them? Eh, that'll sell. Oh, we can just go right into the next one. Good. Looks like you've still got some moonfish left over. Do you want to feed another one to the bird? Sure. Hey, Vice, look! Something's different about him. What's wrong? Oh, I don't know. He looks different for some reason. I don't know why or how, but it looks like every time he grows, his body changes in other ways, too. Okay. Why not? Aura of Valor. I'll have to look that one up. Look at that crazy, like, droopy back of his head. Counter Bracer, I'll have to look that one up too, I guess. And this should be the last one. Rizal and Box, that's pretty great. And we're done. Multiple Rizal M. Yes, please. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, about that Aura of Valor and Counter Bracer. Improves physical attributes slightly as well as counter attacking, attack power, and hit. I don't think I need that for Vice, but... Hmm. That is potentially decent, and the attack boost is pretty crazy. For Aika, it's a maybe. Oh, whoops. I went the wrong way. She can't even do the counter bracer. And I don't think I want it on Drachma. Maybe Aika. God, that is absurd. Yeah, let's do a let's do an Ica equip. However, what was that aura of valor? A sacred stone that boosts the spirit of the entire party to heroic levels. I guess I just use that in battle and just get a big spirit boost if I don't want to grind for multiple turns. Fine with me. Might as well save now that we've actually taken care of the, um... There. Now that we've actually taken care of the, uh, the fish. I would like to see if we could check out Maramba one more time, though. I'm gonna sort of have to go back in that general direction anyway. So which means I wanna go southeast. I was hoping to meet a certain someone. Very happy that these lights are here, by the way. Cool, I could leveled up.
Uh, I was, I gotta admit, I was kind of dreading this. Absolutely saving. Here we go. Hey, isn't that one of the guys on the wanted list at the Sailor's Guild? Uh, hmm, you have the look of a sailor about you. Today is your lucky day. We're feeling generous, so leave all your money and we'll let you live. Do not attempt to resist. We are the legendary air pirates of the Larso clan. So, you're Rupee Larso, eh? Good timing, we were just looking for you. You've made quite a name for yourself, robbing innocent sailors and all. As blue rogues, we cannot sit idly and let you continue like this. You're quite brave for such a small boy. Very well, then. Shall we battle here and get it over with? No, wait. There's no need to cause needless destruction in the city. Meet me on my ship. We could fight on the deck. Out in the open, eh? Very well. Lead the way. I am Vice of the Blue Rogues, Rupee Larso. Prepare to defend yourself. <laughs> you truly are a brave little boy. However, you are mistaken about one thing. I am not Rupee Larso. Master Rupee, it is time to do battle. Please come out here. Barta, you know how I hate fighting. Master Rupee, you are the head of the Larso clan. You should not say things like that. There are enemies present. Now that your father has passed away, you are our leader. You must be strong. This little runt is their leader? I heard that the leader of the Larso clan was a giant. I guess I shouldn't believe everything I hear. What? <laughs> Whoa, what did you say? How dare you speak of Master Rupee like that? You shall pay for your insolence. I shall crush your skulls like so many loquat berries. Like loquat berries? Barta, do you always have to be so graphic? It makes me sick to my stomach. M Master Rupee, I was just trying to put fear into them. Be strong, we're about to do battle. Prepare yourself! My god. Now put your back into it! We must show them the true power of the Larso clan! Aw, oh, this fight is so hard. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, uh, I think being equipped with purple is a good idea, so this is a strange fight because Rupee sits back and tries healing people and everything like that, but the general idea here is that I'm going to want to uh, go after the bodyguard, because if I go after Rupee, he flips out. I'm actually kind of tempted to show that, so you know what? Let, let, let's do it. Let's just go after Rupee. I, I'm probably going to lose the fight because of this, but that's fine. Oh my god. Oh, he actually has health. Yeah, if Rupee gets, I think, under half, this fight gets just terrible. Ugh. Pass. Aw oh, man, of all people to miss, Drachma? Great. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna sacrifice my chances of winning this battle and just mash attack Rupee. This is the part that sucks. Oh, wow! This is another thing that makes Rupee annoying, is he loves to heal Barta. Uh, 
as you can see, Rupee himself doesn't put much of a fight, but yeah. Oh, look at us, look at him now. Again, Dragon just can't hit this guy. Can you get a good look at him? Not really, but just just you wait. Jeez, even Sacrus isn't gonna help Drachma enough. That's insane, but that's all right. Let's let's just do it. God, don't mess with this guy. Let's try this. Oh, there we go. Here go. Berserk Rupee. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And now I lost the spirit for Drachma having died. Oh, that's right, I forgot he was doing that. God damn. I actually got him pretty quickly. Oh no. <laughs> the funny thing is I actually did this in the reverse order that I'm supposed to do it in. Oh, thank you, Rayson actually connected. Remember, it only has a 50% chance of successfully working. Uh, now we got our spirit back, so let's, um... Yeah, I guess I could. Straight up... Now nah, you know what, I'll, I'll take this time to, to protect myself. What? Jeez, Barta. Moons, give me yeah, see, normally what happens is if you beat Barta first... Come on... Ah, normally what happens is if you beat Barta first, then Rupee kind of is just there, and he just keeps casting uh, Pyre. But if you use Delta Shields, then you're just protected from him for the rest of the fight. <laughs> you know what I can do? Attack. Incram on Drachma for once in my life. Guard. And, uh, tackle. Oh yeah, I should never focus with Drachma when I have Spirit Charge. Whoops. If, if this is what he's going to do every turn, then I'm going to have a bad time. I don't even remember what that power down is. Yeah, this is why it's normally better to go for Barta first, because he only attacks once every two turns. The other turn is just charging. This is going to be a problem. Moons, give me strength. I only have five... Spirit? Oh, that's what his status effect must have done. That sucks. Man, 
probably should go... And, and remember, look at how hard it is to damage Barta. So I would have to have kept hitting him despite... Oh, no. I would have had to have kept hitting him despite Rupee healing him. Jeez, Barta. I might just have to suck up dying and use, uh... <laughs> the Ryzen. This is not an easy fight. Give me that spirit, please. Again, I really wonder if drilling works. Although, actually, I wonder. I don't think what Fina has for me is what I need, but we'll see. First of all, let's do this. Second of all, let's do this. Give us- I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Give us regen. It's not gonna completely offset Barta, but whoever it's not attacking can get benefit from it. I'll take a regular attack. I should have bought more crystals. Great. Yeah, it's something. Let's pump Vice up a little bit. All right. Oh my God! It just doesn't stop with this guy. Ugh, and that's with Increm. You gotta be kidding me with this. Moves, give me I just gotta keep healing. Barta is difficult to deal with. Let's try this. I just gotta hope that he doesn't counter Drakmar. I'm in serious trouble. Of course. Why wouldn't he? Oh my god, he lived. Cutlass Fury. My last sacred. I did not think my brilliant plan all the way through, did I? Now let's go for broke. Are you sure you kins me? Let's try this. Oh man, Drachma. <laughs> this guy needs health. You know what? Maybe I should just spend every turn defending, except for Vice's Cutlass Fury. It'll be a slow process, but doable. Although Drachma's attack's pretty damn good. That regen is so good. Yeah, the hell of it. Cutlass Fury, defend, defend, attack. Alright, I'll have to heal Drachma later. We're close. We almost got this. I did this battle the hard way. The er the other way would have just been the long way. Gotta get that sweet healing. Fine with me. I think we got this. I think we got this. Ooh. We did it. 
That is not an easy fight. Wow. Oh, Spirit plus one. Freaking excellent. Hey, Captain's Hat and Piranta Seed. Well, well. <laughs> Unbelievable. The mighty Larso clan has been defeated. Barta, that's why I said we shouldn't pick fights like that in the first place. What's wrong, Ropey? You don't like being an air pirate? Not really. I, I actually can't stand the sight of blood. It makes me queasy. I'd much rather stay in town with my mom and make carpets. In fact, my mother told me that the carpets I made for her sold quickly and people are asking for more of my designs. M Master Rupee, if... but what will happen to the Larso clan? What will happen to it? It is legacy. Well, a man has to follow his dreams. If he doesn't want to be an air pirate, then what's the point, right? I'm the son of an air pirate too, and I'm sure if I didn't want to follow in Dad's footsteps, I wouldn't have. But this is the life I chose. Rupee, if there's something else you'd rather do, then do it. If you don't, you'll probably regret it for the rest of your life. Really? So I can go back to the carpet store and make carpets with my mom? Of course. Nothing is more important than your dreams. Remember that. Yeah! <laughs> sure, I'll do my best. M M Master Rupee, what are you doing? Now you stay out of this. We beat you fair and square. So if Vice says Ruby can make carpets, then Ruby is gonna make carpets, okay? <laughs> Barta, let's make carpets together. I won't run away from this. I'll see you around then, Ruby. We've got many things to do and many things to see, but good luck with your carpets. Yeah. Thanks. I may not have been a very good air pirate, but in the name of the Larso clan, I'm going to make the best carpets ever. <laughs> Bartos like, uh. Whoo! That fight went better than I thought it would. First things first, I'm gonna go to the inn and full heal because that really cost me. I actually went into that fight expecting to lose because I did it the hard way. That went better than I thought. Again, I could have otherwise dealt with Barta charging and punching, charging and punching, you know, every other turn, and it would have been a royal pain dealing with Rupee healing him by 500 HP each time, but once Barta finally goes down, the fight turns into a total joke. Rupee really has no answer except for fire magic, and like I said, with Delta Shield, you're immune to all magic, so you just kind of hit him until he falls down. This this was the, um, the fight where Rupee actually fights. <laughs> Boots Barta at you. Now let's conclude this Barta arc by hitting up the Guildmaster. Oh, wait a minute. The items. Increases power by 3. Power 112, 81, 60, and 135. Alright. Let's give it up to Fina a little bit. Well, well, nah. Ika's more of the person I actually use to attack, but what about that captain's hat? What was that all about? Really? Oh, this is Drachma. Maybe he doesn't deal with the captain's hat. There it is. A hat pet. Holy crap! A hat passed down through generations of Nazarene air pirates boost wears attack power. It, like, stupidly boosts it. This is by, like, 70. That is the dumbest attack, but that's ridiculous. I will take that. That's freaking up. Like, I know it lowered everything else by a little bit and, like, halved my dodge, but 262 attack is freaking dumb. Like, for the record, Drachmas is 213. Like, Vice is now my new powerhouse. That is freaking ridiculous. Also, I like reading these, too. Uh, the wanted posters after you beat them. 
I hear that you defeated one of the bounties. Oh, we, we, yeah, okay, same thing. 2,000 gold. Now... There's a bit to buy, and we still... Yeah, we got nothing to sell. Okay, wanted list. Rupee. The new leader of the Larso clan was nothing but a young boy. In a strange turn of events, that same boy has given up life as a pirate and has joined his mother in her carpet-making business. His giant of a bodyguard has also decided to join him. Hooray! All's well that ends well. I love stuff like that. Not that you really needed to know this, but it's just kind of nice. Whew. That fight gave me so much trouble when I played this game a long time ago. Alright, nailed it. Now that we've gotten that done, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? I mean, not in terms of the plot, but we upgraded our ship, turned in some moonfish, and took care of another bounty. That one is one I'd been dreading for a while. Barta is no joke. Rupee is actually kind of a pushover if you make it so he is, but I didn't. I was actually kind of lucky to make it through the fight without losing anybody permanently. That is a very easy fight where once you... Like, it's a very easy fight to lose. Once a player goes down and you can't resurrect him, it's pretty easy for more to go down. So that went out better than I thought it would. However, next mission... Follow the plot. Until next time, everyone.